Hey, welcome back. Steve AZ711 here. Today I am going to unbox this Chicago Electric Carbon Freight 50 amp 10 inch blade table saw and I'm going to unpack it, put it together. I might be able just to slide it out. I have opened the bottom up to get the instructions out. Let's see what happens. This is the uh, rip fence. A box of pieces. Ah, they give you a push stick. Okay, let me see what else has to be done to put this thing together. Okay, now that the uh, unboxing of the saw is done, let me do a quick recap of some things that might uh, be of interest. First of all, the top and bottom have styrofoam, but in plastic covering them, as you saw. This is pretty easy here to take out. Some people have trouble getting this out, but the way to do that is to loosen this little knob right here. That's your lock. Then you push in with this, push straight in, and then make sure your lock's out of the way. You turn it, and I will turn the saw back up so you can see. Anyway, I'm pushing in and turning the bevel on the saw. Then you can take this piece of styrofoam completely out. All right. Now, push in and push your saw back to zero. This is the bevel. And then you can tighten your lock nut down. This is your on-off switch. And if you pull the little yellow plug out, nothing happens. So plug is in, it's on and off right there. Now the instructions are really, really kind of messed up. They want you to attach the uh, cord connector, holder, whatever the heck they call it. But I found out this seems to hold the tools, the wrenches, for taking the uh, blade loose. You do want to read all the instructions, by the way. I'm going to push this back again. Okay. Okay, on the other side, is another tool holder. This is for the uh, um, push stick and it, it just sort of rests in there. It doesn't clamp down but if you had a wooden one it would probably hold in there pretty nice. So back to the front. This is the thing to raise and lower the blade counterclockwise as you see the blade is coming up and then the other way it goes down. plate is removable, just pull up and you will be able to see your riving knife and everything else down inside. Okay, to adjust the riving knife you just, I suggest wearing gloves, but pull up on the lever and then pull the riving knife up. It has a couple little ears sticking out on its mount and they fall into a couple holes on the riving knife and then you just push your lever back down now the riving knife is adjusted in the up position okay now we put the blade cover back on And what we want to 
do is raise the saw. Going counterclockwise. Okay, that's the full up position right there. I'll zoom in a little bit. What I want to do next is put the uh, kick anti kickback paws on and they have a little pin inside. that when pushed you push in on this pin right here and it pushes the bottom out anyway it allows the anti-kickback pawl which fits in this slot right here and for the life of me I don't know how that really works but anyway for some reason, you do that and it locks itself in. And that's that. Next, you want to put your blade guard on. And the blade guard has a little push pin right here. And these guys here in the front have arrows pointing forward. You would push the pin in on this side, and then you slide it back into the slot here. Slide this pin right here back into the slot. Push your button in, pin button in, and then release it, and that locks that locks your uh, blade guard in. To take the blade guard off, push the button in, pull forward, and it's out. So slide it in and back, push the button. Turn it loose, it's locked. I'm going to crank the blade down. And next is the fence, and it can go on either side, either this side over here or here. This is where most people have it. Just hook it over the back, drop it in place. The yellow handle you push down, it locks it. I believe this pin right here, or this uh, is a little adjustment pin here for tightening it even tighter. Being this is such an inexpensive saw, I would recommend checking the distance between this and the blade, and then checking your blade to make sure it's perfectly 90 degrees to the tabletop here. Now the instructions did say the tabletop was adjustable with two of these screws right here. You can loosen it. Oh, let's see what else. Oh. Yeah, this is the uh, push stick, which can go on the side. And then you have your miter, miter gauge for cross cuts, and it just slides in a slot here. There's a little slop there. It is uh, 
divided into increments on, on the metal here and on here as well. This part is adjustable here. Well, I forgot one thing. The feet. Got to put the feet on. Okay, the feet just push in. Right, here's one. Try and do the other one. It takes two hands. Unless you're really strong with your hands. Anyway, feet just push in. Not as hard as I thought they were. Now I do want to mount this to a metal base. I hope these don't get in my way. Okay, I'll push that one in when I move the table. So that's it. And oh wait, we gotta plug this in, don't we? Let's see if it even runs. We don't even know if it runs. Okay, I plugged it into the extension cord. Stand back, I'm gonna turn it on and see if it works. Here we go. Wow, I should have said fasten your seat belts. We will be landing soon. Looks like this was moving a little bit. It's still on zero. It's tightened down. This was spinning. It's just my imagination, I guess. I'm going to unplug it. So I guess I didn't leave anything underneath or in the way or we'd have heard it. So, until my next video, one thing you want to do with this saw Read all the instructions and follow all the safety rules you can. Any kind of table saw, you've got to be very careful around these. Wear safety glasses, earplugs, as you can tell. So, this is Steve AZ711 saying bye for now. We call it cob light. This is made by Cat. And I could have used this the other day when I was checking the blade. Anyway, fits in your shirt pocket, water resistant, drop resistant up to about three and a quarter feet. Three AAA batteries will last about seven hours. So anyway, I just put this in my shirt pocket. Then when I get in a spot where I need a light, I get it instead of my cell phone.